good morning everyone. Is this uh, audio up here to work? Let me see. Yeah, two, okay. Uh, good morning everyone. I'd like to, uh, to welcome you and get started. Uh, welcome to the Ethics of Information Organization Conference. Uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Michael Zimmer. I'm an assistant professor at the School of Information Studies uh, here at UWM. Uh, and uh, conference coordinator or something like that. Um, so welcome. Uh, I'm very happy that we all could be here today. And as conference coordinator, I'm really happy that we can be here today. I'm going to be really happy tomorrow and someday when we can start thinking about something else. Uh, no offense. Uh, but that's, that's the way these things are. Uh, I have a few announcements and a few things I just want to run through sort of from logistics uh, before I introduce uh, our dean and, and continue with some of the welcoming comments uh, this morning. Um, I guess first I do want to just thank all of our sponsors that helped me uh, today possible. Uh, the School of Information Studies uh, at UWM, uh, the Center for Information Policy Research, which is a center within the school, uh, where we focus on issues of information ethics, information policy, information law. Um, the Information Organization Research Group, uh, which is a new group of scholars at UWM um, collaborating on this very topic of information organization. Uh, and also Milwaukee Public Libraries, uh, they provided this wonderful space for us uh, to use for the next couple of days. Um, so I'd like to thank all of them, and we'll thank them multiple times over the course of the next couple of days. Um, this also couldn't have been possible uh, without Per Lee Lee, um, our program chair. Unfortunately, she could not be here. Uh, uh, but we wish her well, and we thank her for her, all our efforts in bringing together these amazing uh, speakers that we have today. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Hope Olson, uh, Steve Miller, and others that, that helped uh, from, the, from the programming and coordination of this event. Uh, Rebecca Hall, Laura Meyer, uh, other people back at, at the SOAS uh, home office that made this possible. Chad Zart. Uh, Milton, uh, uh, Jim Schultz, they're helping uh, some logistics today, and especially Tony Hoffman, who can step out, um, who without his help the last few weeks, none of us, you know, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be eating, and we wouldn't have a microphone and all these other things. Uh, so thank you all uh, for, for your excellent work. Uh, a few logistics, you notice we have food, we'll have food throughout the day, um, we'll have a break, we'll have lunch. Uh, later this afternoon, uh, we have a reception uh, back at the Double Tree Hotel just down the street uh, with some light hors d'oeuvres and some, some drinks and, and enjoyment of that kind. We'll have more details about that later. Uh, bathrooms are just outside the room and on, the, on my right, uh, if you need them. Uh, the library upstairs is gorgeous. Um, the rotunda and everything, it's a wonderful building. Uh, to get there, we need to go back outside. Uh, out, the, out the doors, we take a right. Uh, back to Wisconsin Avenue, another right, and you'll see the front entrance, the library. Uh, we should have time at the end of the afternoon uh, before the reception if people wanted to spend some time to walk around uh, the library and, and, and take a look at uh, what we have to offer here in Milwaukee, um, so, so please do that. Uh, Wi-Fi, if you have uh, computers, there should be an open Wi-Fi network in here uh, called MPL Wireless. And for those of you that will be tweeting the event, we have a hashtag, IO Ethics, and if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Uh, but for those of you that do, uh, we, we, we'll, we'll be tweeting um, the event as well. Uh, we are taping uh, the talks as, as well. Uh, we're going to be posting that on our website uh, as, a, as a video cast um, in the coming weeks. If for some reason you want to make sure you're not on video or on audio, you know, unfortunately you just, just sort of sit in the back and we'll make sure you're not captured. We're not going to pan the room or anything. But I'm a privacy and surveillance scholar, so I want to make sure that everyone understands that we're taping and that it's going to be on the web. So um, if, there's, if you have concerns about that, just talk to me and we'll, we'll make sure that everyone's accommodated. And I think that is, that is all for my, um, for my comments. Uh, what I would like to do um, is uh, introduce to you uh, the Dean of the School of Information Studies, Dr. Johannes Spritz. Um, uh, Dean Britz has been a great motivating force in making events like this happen, uh, bringing together a very diverse, uh, diverse faculty um, into the School of Information Studies, and I'll to join that faculty, so I'm very grateful for it. Um, and uh, he'll have a few welcoming remarks to, to join us today, very short remarks, I believe. Short? Yeah, it can be long. <laughs> uh, and then he will also introduce to us uh, our provost, Dr. Rhea Chain, who is also here today uh, to give us a welcome. So please join me in welcoming Dean Brits.
much, Michael. Uh, they say you make good hires, and you make very good hires, and then you make Michael Zimmer hires. <laughs> um, he's really one of our outstanding young faculty taking the initiatives with many things. Uh, so, Michael, thank you in any case for you. When you early had um, go back to Taiwan, you really stepped in and uh, arranged this, which I think is one of the first ever ethics and I.O. conferences that I know of. You know, it's like a World Series. It happens in America. We don't, it's not the rest of the world, but I think in America this is the first in the world that might have happened in other countries. So thank you for this initiative. I'm really looking forward to being an ethicist myself. Uh, I always thought about the ethical issues, and I've read some of Hope's stuff before she joined us. I quote with her many issues on language and representation of texts. So I thought this is a good accumulation of um, these kinds of discussions. Um, I also want to thank the planning committee, uh, not only for doing this, but for the creativity in the way you've done this, Michael, and the others. Uh, Chad at the back, and uh, thank you for your input. You had some input? No. Oh. Um, and then I would also like to introduce our written, I think I will in any case have to do this. Yeah. Because I know thank you. We are uh, short and taller people. <laughs> I would like to introduce our Vice Chancellor and Provost, uh, Dr. Rita Chen. Um, she, and I told her she don't have to talk about space, oh, you goodness. don't have to talk about the budget, <laughs> and you don't even have to talk about OI, organizational information, organization and ethics. You can just open it for us. Um, we really do appreciate it. Not that she has the time to come, but I think the fact that you are here shows your priority to come. And that is very much appreciated. We're always in support of what we do. We think, oh, it's high up there in Chapman Hall where all the African speakers are. We send an email, it's always on this side. Never, there's not one instance where you actually say no to all our events. So this is very much appreciated. Being a provost and being an associate dean, we hope. In Afrikaans, we have a saying um, you are between the floor and the polish. We've been a hard rock in there. What is the English saying? Stone it's the same principle, it's, it's a bankers job in a way. You're between the floor and the polish because you get it from the top and you get it from the bottom and you have to manage everything. So taking that into consideration and having difficult times to manage what we do, Rita Chang, I would like to introduce you and thank you again. Well, thank you, Hannes, and uh, 